Picture this. There are two 16-year-old boys. Male A and male B. They're both in 10th grade. And there's this banging, smoking, absolutely gorgeous, stunning girl. The whole grade has a crush on her. Male A and male B, obviously, you know, they'd have a crush on her as well. Male A's mindset is, oh bro, like, fucking everyone has a crush on her. Why would I be able to get her? Male B's mindset is, yeah bro, I don't give a fuck when whatever happens, happens. So one day, male B just, he fucking doesn't give a fuck anymore. It's like, you know what, who gives a shit? He goes and he asks this beautiful, stunning girl. And he asks her out. And lo and behold, the entire grade is flabbergasted. How the fuck did this guy manage to pull that? So now male B has the most beautiful woman in the entire school, pretty much. And male A, <laughs> male A just looks at male B like, how the fuck did you pull that off, bro? Like me and you pretty much, we're the same. How the fuck did you pull that off and I didn't? How did, how did nobody else pull that off? Can you guess who male A was? That's right, boys. I was male A. How the fuck? Bro, props to my buddy over here, bro, but this guy, this guy, you don't understand, man. There was this one night, we had a little group chat and he was in it and everyone, he told everyone the news that he asked her out and like, they, you know, they made out and, you know, they're together now. And everyone's just, <laughs> everyone's just like rooting for him, like, yeah, bro, let's go, you fucking won. And I'm here like, damn, bro. I liked her too. <laughs> I liked the girl too, bro. How the fuck did you manage to get her and I didn't? What the fuck? What was wrong with me? And of course, buddy over here just says, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? Congratulate me. Congratulate me, bro. I got the girl. What's your problem, man? Do you hate me? And I'm just like, oh, congratulations, man. You know, literally, bro, I'm playing my fucking Overwatch and then bang, one fucking night, I get the message. Yo, this guy has the girl now. And it's like, oh, bro, I wish I tried. You know, this was one of the lessons I learned that sent me into my first mega rut of like depression and what the fuck and insecurity and what's wrong with me. But this lesson really benefited me for the future and its fortune favors the bold. That motherfucker, bro, props to him. He grabbed everything he had, any courage, any balls he had, and he just went for it. And it paid off for him. They're still together today, bro. <laughs> today, they're still together and they're thinking about, like, marriage and shit. They might, literally, they might have a family. And it's all because that man was, was bold. And he went for it. Props to him, bro. Nobody else would have. So upon learning the news that Buddy over here got the girl that I wanted, you know, obviously, it's a, it's a hit to your ego, bro. You take a fucking stab. It's like, why him and why not me? Well, that's what my mindset was before stabbed and that's it was pretty rough for the for the next couple of months you know it was one of the factors that put me into my evolution phase you know when a caterpillar or not a caterpillar yeah a caterpillar enters its cocoon phase and then comes out a butterfly well this this was one of the factors that began my cocoon phase now upon escaping upon leaving this cocoon phase i've become a new character i've become a new person you know, every time you cocoon yourself, this is a good analogy I might be using in my future videos. Every time you cocoon yourself and you turn into that butterfly, you learn a lot of things. And this phase, this this first cocooning I had, I say cocoon a lot. This first cocoon, fuck! This first cocooning phase I had taught me the lesson, bro, of boldness. I came out of this phase thinking, you know what, fuck it, bro, fuck it, I don't care, like, if I lose, it's, I'm gonna consider it a win, I'm gonna fucking win no matter what, you know, I started hitting the gym, when you first get into the gym, bro, you look at the, imagine, <laughs> imagine you enter the gym the first time, and you see a guy fucking slamming seven plates onto the ground, deadlifting, it's like, yeah, bro, I'm gonna fucking 180 degrees, hit the <laughs> straight fucking walk back out, no, 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 me, I walked in, I saw the fucker deadlifting 12 plates, and I stayed, and I watched him, and I tried deadlifting, obviously nothing moved, but you get the point, I was bold from now on, every fucking decision I made was a decision of fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, whatever happens is meant to be, and I'll grow through it. I started working on myself, I started beginning all like the self-improvement shit, I went to the gym when my past self would have never... I went to the gym, I started, you know, getting jacked. And by 12th grade, I had this stunning girlfriend by my side. And old me is like, what the fuck? How? 
If I if I told my old self, if I told my tenth grade self, bro, you're gonna have this girl. <laughs> He'd be like, okay, man, go back to Jackie. Yo, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? Life got so much better when I became a more bold person. Fortune favors the bold. The growth you experience from just diving headfirst into your fear, into the unknown, into, into something you don't know what will come out of. The growth, the fucking hardening that comes out of your character. Bro, that shit's priceless. That shit is fucking priceless. You know, by the end of 12th grade, my boldness skill increasing rapidly, and then I enter uni, and I have a crazy fucking time first semester, and wild time, bro, wild time. And then I enter a little mini cocoon phase, and you know what comes out of that cocoon phase? The channel. I was bold enough to start the channel, bold enough to start giving advice to thousands of people. You know, the, the biggest obstacle people have with creating a business is putting yourself out there. I said, fuck it, and I went straight ahead. And now here I am. Here we have a brotherhood of hundreds of men. You gotta fucking break that limiting belief. Boldness. You need boldness. Fortune favors the bold. Bro, if I wasn't bold... If I wasn't bold, I would have never started the channel. Ever. Why the fuck would I do it? You know, I'm, I'm too much... I'd be too much of a bitch to start anything. <sighs> Nobody successful in anything he partakes in is not bold in that endeavor. You've got to take your fucking... You, that, bro, risks, man. Risks. We always hear that saying, successful... We learned this in economics class, bro. Successful entrepreneurs take risks. Well, for once... For once, something they taught you in class was useful. You gotta fucking take risks. You gotta be bold. Go for what you fear. Go for what you fear. Bro, go start fighting. Go start boxing. The first time... First time I entered the ring with an opponent. Bro, that guy had over 100 spars. I thought I was about to get fucked. But fortune favors the bold. And I sparred him. And I won. Fortune favors... Bro, I made him bleed. Fortune favors... You don't fucking understand. I'm gonna keep drilling this into you. Fortune... You don't get anywhere without being bold. So you... Fuck monotony, bro. Fuck monotony. Grab whatever balls you have in between your legs and go charge forth at life. See what fortune awaits you when you start... When you stop being this little shell of a man, this cocooned person. This... Too much of a pussy to do anything. Go out there and fuck up. Go out there and make some crazy mad decisions. Go out there and, and go mad, bro. Go fuck up, but learn through your fuck ups. Go through hell and win. Go and thrive, bro. Go fucking venture out into the wilderness and do some crazy shit, man. But fucking learn through it. Because I don't know about you, bro. But just the thought of a, of a life of monotony scares me to my core. I don't know about you, but this fucking life, the life of high ups and low lows is infinitely better than a life of monotony, a life of just stagnant. Because we already know the script, we already know the adventure that the guy lives is just, you know, get out of school, get out of uni, get a cute little job, get married to a wife you don't even like, who won't even have sex with you, and your, your kids fucking hate you, and then retire at, at 55, 60, with barely anything in your bank account, and then just fucking die. We know the script of the life of monotony. And bro, I don't care if the worst fucking happens in the low lows. At least I didn't live a life of monotony. And I know you have the same thoughts. So reclaim your vigor, bro. Reclaim your fucking... That, that masculine aggression inside of you. Go start that business. Go ask that girl out. Go fight. Go, go sign up for a pro fucking MMA fight. Go post something you've always been wanting to post. Just go and fucking do it. Go and do something. Go start that bit. Do whatever. Do whatever. Go and be bold. Just go out there and fucking spread your seed out there. And even if you fuck up, even if you fuck up, you learn through it. And you grow and you thrive and you win. Because nothing comes to the fearful. Nothing comes to the stagnant. The guy who just won't do shit. The guy who just sits in his bed, you know, and just scrolls. 
nothing comes to him. You are an ambitious young man, nothing will come to you if you're just sitting in bed fucking scrolling on your phone watching brain dead content. Watching shitty YouTube videos like this one, bro. Go out there and fucking grab your balls, grab whatever you have down there. And win. And so if you want me and a community of other young men, of other men, like-minded men like you, entrepreneurs, people who want to fucking rise, to literally grab your balls, because you're too fucking scared to grab them yourself. If you want me to grab your balls, fucking twist them, and fling you out there into the wilderness, then join the higher brotherhood. Become part of a community so fucking strong-minded, you will never see it out there. So I hope this served as motivation for you. As motivation for you to stop fucking decaying. To invigorate that soul. To go and conquer. I hope you found value in this. You can subscribe if you'd like. And welcome to the Brotherhood.